Thank you, everyone. Um, I'm so glad to hear the speech Vivian just gave, talk about open source and open data. And now I'm going to talk about more specific about what is open source and open data technologies we are using to build a real product. Okay, uh, so first, uh, um, simple introduce about myself. I am from GNOME community. I found GNOME Asia uh, in 2008. I'm a member of GNOME Foundation, and uh, I have been served as a, a foundation board member in 2010. And now um, I have uh, found uh, um, uh, open source alliance, which is called Kaiyuan Shui in China. And also, uh, um, I, I have been uh, working in Sun Oracle for eight years, and now I'm working for Microsoft Open Technologies. Okay, um, so uh, today I'm going to talk about the background uh, of the government's open data, and uh, talk about the um, open standards, which is OData, and open source portal for open data, which is CCAN. And I will uh, go through the architectures of the open data platform. And also there are some showcases uh, in China. Okay, so um, for the open data uh, defined, which is makes the public uh, data bro broadly accessible and usable by human beings. I think this open data movement uh, is quite popular these years and it created lots of opportunities for new startup and for, uh, for the whole society and the economics. Here is the open data around the world. And I think uh, uh, more than 180 governments uh, uh, have been uh, used open data platform. Uh, uh, for example, the Singapore government um, so um, here we talk about the open source data portal platform CCAN. So CCAN uh, is an open source project uh, developed by the um, Open Knowledge Foundation, and it is under the license uh, HPL. And there are some uh, uh, open data site examples. For example, the UK, uh, UK the UK.gov and the USA's data.gov, and I think the Singapore. Uh, government uh, have used another uh, platform and solutions. I will be very interested to uh, investigate more on Singapore uh, government uh, portals. And so we talk about the open standards. And so for the open standards, uh, all data we have to talk about. So opening data silos through all data protocol. And all data protocols has been uh, approved by OSS. Uh, currently, it's a, uh, it's a standard uh, which is proposed by the Microsoft, uh, IBM, and SAP, and some, uh, some other companies. And uh, we talk about how we use open source uh, projects like CCAM and uh, open standards, old data, and also cloud to build an uh, open data platform. So um, in China, the Microsoft Open Technologies, we have been uh, working on this. Uh, we contribute to the open source projects. For example, uh, we have uh, uh, developed the old data plugin for CCAN, and now the code has been published to GitHub. And also, we have uh, created uh, old data uh, plugins like GDBC and the old data producers for Super CIMs. Those are already published in GitHub. And for the CCAN, which is open source projects, we have been uploaded the images to VM Depot. And VM Depot <coughs> is a community galleries uh, which contain lots of open source uh, Linux images and it is maintained by the community. And, um, and we have projects, we, we're doing projects with Chinese government. And also um, um, for Microsoft, uh, it powered, uh, uh, powered up the Azure. And for the, uh, for the open data platform, ecosystem is really important. Um, we, uh, we have worked with third party companies like Trico, which is the tier one data providers, now already support uh, OData API, and we work closely with OData community. And uh, um, also we, uh, we are thinking about to encourage more people to develop useful applications for human beings using those open datas. 
So um, a very uh, useful way is to localize national open data context. Here is the open data plan for architectures. Uh, generally, there are three parts. Uh, in the left is a data uh, input. In the middle is process the data. And output is uh, display the data. So uh, for the raw data, it can be the data on the paper. It can be a um, uh, Excel. It can be a link, a dynamic uh, data on the website, and the static data on the website. So there are many ways we have to deal with this data. And also in the, in the central, there are the uh, data processing. Um, there are many modules there. And finally, we have to uh, make those data visible to human beings. I'm not going to go uh, through details because I only have 10 minutes. OK, here is uh, some uh, function review of the open data platform. Uh, that is uh, like the data imports, just the three steps. Uh, we create data sets. And we import data, and then we config data. So uh, currently, it supports multiple documents format like Word, Excel, uh, CSV, JPGs. Uh, those are the popular uh, format we use every day. And uh, um, there are uh, for, for the um, for the functions um, in the left hand. That's uh, you can curate the data sets in different category. So you can you can search by the organization groups tabs, attributions, and in the middle, uh, you can click on the uh, GUI to see the data sets, organizations, and the groups. And also you can search. You can full text search and the fuzzy match. OK, um, uh, so data virtualization, um, how to make it visible to human beings. We take the uh, geography information size as an example. Uh, when data entry contains some geography information, like latitude, and uh, longitude. So this open data platform will automatically generate, generate a map uh, applications. Look at the uh, left side. Uh, it's not clearly. So uh, the left part is latitude and the longitude on the right corner. And then uh, in the right part, it will automatically generate a map applications. So uh, this open data platform uh, supports basic some charting tools. Uh, like the Power BI, um, like Tableau. Okay, so uh, currently uh, the Chinese government has been building some open data portals while working on this. This is going to be released, I think, uh, um, in April. And uh, um, uh, we 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 are uh, offer the platform solution to them, and also we're working with many third party companies to. Uh, make applications based on those data. So I think that um, for the open data, there are three big major parts. The first one is say, the source of the data, which is government, open it. And then we need to uh, have a solution to build a platform. And then how can we use those uh, data? There, there is an ecosystem. There are developers from the communities. There are startups. There are uh, console uh, companies that are doing business in this part. So I think that this part is, um, has lots of opportunities. OK, so um, there are some useful links. And uh, there, there is a team uh, in MS Open Tech in China. And our teams are generally three parts. That's open standards and engineering and open source. So if you have any questions, if you are, want to know more about this open data platform, so please drop us an email. OK, thank you. Thank you.